Hello there. Yeah, this is about uh, 10 days after my uh, doctor decided to uh, reduce my uh, Prazolam dosage, Xanax dosage, by about half. And uh, every day I feel sick. Um, the other video I made, I didn't know it, but I actually was sick. I actually uh, had caught. Uh, the flu type B and then I went in and got my prescription and found out my dose got half without any warning and then uh, boom the flu hit me like the same day so I was thinking that I was just freaking out you know uh, because I been through withdrawal before and know what it's about and how horrible it is and I was facing withdrawal but here I had the flu so I was super sick for uh, Oh, about four days, and then I felt better, and then I relapsed a little bit. But it, it sucks because, like, I'm over the flu, but since withdrawal feels pretty much like you're sick anyway, I didn't really get any relief. I went from having the flu to, uh, you know, being in this withdrawal, and I didn't. Look, I didn't know anything about this stuff when I was started messing with it, and uh, I was warned it was addictive, but I didn't know how bad the withdrawal was. Other stuff, you know, mess with stuff before, but the withdrawal with this is so terrible that I'll, I think I'd rather have the anxiety. I mean, I had legitimate anxiety uh, that was really unpleasant uh, because of my heart issues, and... Um, because I had my heart shock like four times, like I say in all my videos, and that's what started it. Is I could feel my heart beating, and I could feel when it was messing up, and then pretty soon I'm just sitting around having anxiety, you know, listening to my heart beat real fast, and feeling it, rather than listening to it. But, uh, now I don't know what to do. I'm in pretty bad despair. I mean, uh, I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, I'm going to make an appointment with my doctor and talk to him about it. I want to be off of this stuff. I really do. But, I mean, I, the withdrawal is so hard to take. And I got other problems. I got other health problems uh, with the CRPS and with heart problems. Other health problems. And, uh, but man, the, the overall feeling of just awfulness and uh, just wrongness like you can't think clearly like you and uh, it's so upsetting and it's, it's just awful I mean I don't know I want to go in and tell my doctor like I want to be off of the stuff but I don't know you know I don't know if I can if I can do this I mean I don't know how much longer I can do this if I had a idea of like how long it's longer it would take and then you see these scary videos of other people where it takes some months sometimes years but I don't you know I've, I've only been taking it regularly for about a year but the, the stuff is just so they shouldn't even prescribe it for people because I mean it, you get, can get addicted to it so fast you don't even know what happened I mean, I don't need. I don't even know what happened. I was just getting them off of a friend, and I wasn't even taking them every day. And the next thing I know, I got, you know, I started having anxiety, and um, I don't know if I can't even tell you if the anxiety started first or the Xanax you started first. I was just having trouble sleeping. I can't even remember. I mean. Just this stuff should not be prescribed to anybody, I don't think. Uh, I mean, I know there's severe cases where people need this stuff, and uh, but it's just so bad for you. I'm just really low and discouraged. I mean, I don't know if um, doing these videos do does any good for anybody else on there or me. I don't know if it does any good for me. I mean, it passes the time. Uh, 
I just it's like when you're in the middle of it you just feel like there's no end to it and then like I took a half a pill like um, I'd say about 40 minutes ago and it just takes the barest edge off of the off of the withdrawal it's like uh, I got used to uh, twice that dosage over the course I think I had like I didn't even ask him to do prescribe me double I just ran short because I was having a really hard time and I went in there with withdrawal and I said look you know I, I ran ahead on my pills like four days and he said well, what were you doing and I said well I was taking one in the morning I'm only supposed to, was only supposed to take one at night but I was taking one in the morning for about a week and uh, so he's like okay you want to do that you can here's 60 instead of 30 him he's taking them twice a day and uh God, it's my own fault for not being informed, you know. I mean, but once you once you get to that point where the, you're uh, physically addicted, and the the withdrawal causes the anxiety, so it's like it create the the Xanax creates a need for itself within you. I mean, because once you start getting that withdrawal, then you're going to have anxiety, and then you're going to be like, well, I need my pill, and it's like you know you get into, into the vicious cycle thing I don't know I wish he wouldn't have doubled my dosage now I would have been happy with I didn't ask him to do that you know I just to told him that's what I was doing I was having a rough time so he said I'm gonna prescribe you 60 instead of 30 and then later on we'll see about dropping it uh, back down to 30 and uh, so I took like uh, uh, two a day 60 for I think three I think three months either three or four months I don't even know for sure uh, so you know my body got got used to that so now I'm suffering and I don't you know I don't know what I should do I, I got so sick from the flu like <laughs> on, on the 16th is uh, of, uh, this month is when I fell ill and it's the uh, so that's 10 days ago so this has only been 10 days I've been at a reduced dosage and it really hasn't even been 10 days that I've been at a reduced dosage because I had I was two pills ahead so I, I had my normal dose a couple of days when I you know first had the, the flu really bad I think this people should be warned about this stuff like seriously there should be <sighs> tell a friend just do not mess with this stuff it's just it's crazy addictive I mean it's crazy addictive and the withdrawal is horrible I mean I've had like uh, other things where I was on the pills for a while but and then had to get off of them and it's you, you know nothing like this this is literally like being sick it's it's like you know like you got a it's like you got a cold and then your brains are scrambled on top of it and I'm like have no appetite I try to force myself to eat but it's like it's, you don't want to eat I don't know I don't know, I'll just go in there and talk to him about it and see what he wants to do. I don't know if I could can go to some detox place or something. I don't I don't know. I just I can't I can't see doing this. I mean I'm just taking half a dose. I'm not even cleaned up. You know, I'm still taking the stuff and I'm still sick. It's just cause I, I don't know if my body will get used to the lower dosage and then I they say you can get weaned off of it I don't know this probably wasn't a good idea even making this video uh, I'm just there's so much I'm in so much despair Just feeling like crap all the time. Can't eat half the day. 
don't want to get out of bed. I don't know, man, if you got, you know, if you got people, man, tell them just don't mess with this stuff, then there's, they really, they really shouldn't prescribe it, I don't think, to anybody, I, I don't think it's, you know, it's helpful to some people, and the way they prescribe it, though, is uh, they should prescribe it like as needed. If they give you a bottle. I don't know. I was taking it to sleep because I was having a lot of anxiety and not being able to sleep. So I was taking it every day. I was thinking like for people to actually wait until they had uh, anxiety attacks to take the things to wait till they feel like their hearts pumping out of their chest but I don't know I got I got nothing to say I got <laughs> I, I can't even think anything anything positive that, or encouraging to say about this I don't I just have to get through the night uh, I slept horribly last night and then uh, took half a pill in the morning and slept a little bit in the morning I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight I don't know I don't know it's scary because you feel like because you can't think right and hopefully that's a temporary thing and you didn't do this I don't know if the stuff actually damages your brain I mean I don't know they they're starting to think that way but while you're going through the withdrawal you do feel like your brains damaged somehow or like you can't think as clearly and you can't think as uh, coherently and things don't come to you as fast and but that's why you're going through the withdrawal I don't know if it really does any permanent damage to you or not I mean I haven't been taking that I haven't been ta I've been taking it too regularly but I haven't been taking large doses and I haven't been taking it for very long I mean uh, I've only probably been it, pre it prescribed regularly between a year and a year and four months that is too long I think I think a week is too long with this stuff I don't think you should I don't think it should be messed with I mean I, I guess a person could have like a few of them on hand for when they had like severe anxiety if they could be trusted not to take them regularly but you know it's when it says on the bottle one one a day and you start taking them every day and what that does to you is it's just a terrible thing and uh, I, I had a lot of problems before and I didn't just take them on a whim I mean I was having some serious problems but now I got another problem it's just another problem now I mean uh, now I got to deal with this, and I don't. I don't know. You feel like how? How the heck can you hang when every day you feel lousy like that? I mean, everybody gets worn out, and I'm not young anymore. I mean, I'm not young and strong anymore, and I don't have all the energy in the world to fight stuff like this. I guess you just try to get through get through the next hour the next night the next day I don't 
don't know if the I don't know if prolonged light light use is even something that can like I don't know I just don't I just don't want to feel like this I just I want to be off I don't want to have to worry about the dependency thing I don't want to have to worry about my doctor fucking with me and changing the dosage or you know dropping me off of it I just want to be I just want to be off of it and uh but I don't know <laughs> the withdrawals is such a bitch I mean I don't know if I can face that every day my life's not easy besides that and I don't I don't know you know I'm having some real doubts about whether I can face that every day and I, I have to try I have to do better as far as fighting it tomorrow and uh, get out of get out of the house uh, move around I just want to lay there and like I'm sick, you know. I just want to lay there, and that's not good for your emotional state. But you don't want to do anything. You just feel sick. Man. Anyways, I, 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 don't, I don't know. It, just it's a horrible thing to go through. Anybody that's going through it uh, with me, I'm so sorry. I can only give you my sympathy and tell you that, you know, that the people that think that we're exaggerating this, they got no idea. And like, if you have anybody at all that's like, doesn't know about this stuff, just tell them. You know, if I knew, if I, if I had some kind of dire warnings, if I would have put in the time and the research, a lot of people, you know, they just, it's just a pill. You know, it's not something you shoot in your arm. So what's the big deal? It's a, it's a real big deal. But yeah, I, like I said, I if you're suffering like this, you know, I, you have all my sympathy. I don't. That's about the only positive thing I can take away from this. I, I just wish I knew. I wish I just had a crystal ball and could see how long this was going to last, or how long I was going to have to suffer. Because right now, it's like there's no time. There's, it's there's, it's just endless. It's just like an, it's like infinity when you're suffering with the withdrawal. It's like infinity. There's like there's you're just there now suffering. And you, there's you don't see an end to it. The only time I had an end to it was taking more pills. So. Okay, people. Like I said, I. If you're suffering like this, there, there. I, I understand. That's about all I can. Only positive thing I can make out of this. And maybe, maybe tomorrow it won't be so bad. I won't get like this. I don't know. Take care of yourself.